Hey y'all, welcome back to Apron Streets. I'm still in the kitchen working on that meal that y'all are seeing one dish at a time. Now I just showed you cooking the collard greens, but I'm going to put a uh, pork shoulder in the oven to bake. And our HEB had them on for 97 or 77, I think it was 97 cents a pound. And I'm going to show you the one I got. It's really lean and beautiful. And I'm just going to roast it. But I'm not going to do it like I do my beef roast. I'm not going to flour it and sear it. I'm just going to put it in my covered baker from Pampered Chef. And uh, show y'all how it turns out. It's always tender and juicy. And uh, you'll see it after a while. But let me show you my roast. It's beautiful. See all the lean on it? I'm so excited to get one. It's the fat on the back, but not much. It's got a whole lot of lean with the fat marble through it. So this will be wonderful. It'll be good for pulled pork, but I'm going to just cook it like a roast and we'll tear it apart and eat it. But anyway, let's get it out of this packaging and get it in the dish and get it in the oven to cook. Okay, what I've done, I've rinsed my roast. And there's a controversy on whether you rinse meat or not, but I always do. Plain water don't rinse germs off. If it's got germs on it, they're going to be cooked and killed. But it's just me. I feel like it's cleaner. Get off some of that old blood mess off of it. So I've got my big old roast right here. And I'm going to season it with onion and garlic powder. And black pepper. And if I can find it, some cayenne. If not, let's see. I think I'll just use some of this... Uh, Cajun seasoning here that has sugar, salt, red pepper, garlic, paprika, and black pepper. So I won't need the black pepper and I won't need the salt, but I will need the onion powder. So I'm just going to use this Cajun seasoning right here. My friend, remember the other day when I made gumbo and they had brought me some Cajun seasoning? Well, this is the Cajun seasoning that I got. So I'm just going to generously sprinkle it over the top of this. Because I want lots of flavor. Boy, this would be a good one to put on the pit because it's got fat marble through it. Would be good, but I'm not doing that. I'm putting it in the oven. I already got the oven preheated to 350. Now, if I didn't have this baking dish, I would... Uh, line a pan with foil and uh, I would put it I'm going to go ahead and add some more garlic y'all think that's a good idea? Um, I would put it in a foil pan that I could seal it up in you want to seal it in something and I need I patted it maybe too dry I don't know I need to put some seasoning on this back side too Of course, that's the fat, but then it'll go down in all the juice when that fat turns to liquid. Now, sometimes on a beef roast, I will uh, poke little holes in it and put garlic all through it. But I'm not even going to do that on this one. I think this will be sufficient. And I'm going to put it fat side down in my covered baker here. See if I can... Put that seasoning in there on it. If my pot were bigger, I would like to put uh, some sweet potatoes in there with it. But Trump really doesn't like for me to add potatoes to stuff because it adds a sweeter flavor and he doesn't like that. This is a Cooney name, and I don't know what it is. B-O-U-R-Q-U-E-S is the seasoning I'm using. And I'm assuming that you could order it. It says, is it Barquet Supermarket, Port Bear, B-A-R-R-E, Louisiana. So I don't know if they have a dot com or not. They have a phone number, 337 
585-6261 if you would want to call and see if they could mail you some. They do have a dot com. <coughs> it's WW that's got red pepper in it, folks. www.bourques specialties.com if you want to order some. It's good. I used it in my gumbo the other day. It's kind of like Tony Sacherace, but it's their brand. Okay, I'm fixing to get the lid on this little darling and get him in the oven. And it'll take a while for it to cook. I forgot what they say uh, pound-wise. If you were doing it for pulled pork, it says to cook it at 200 uh, for, I think it said 20 minutes per pound. But I'm just cooking it like a roast. So what what I'm going to do is just cook it until it's, it comes apart, actually. When I put a fork in it and it comes apart, that's about good enough for me. I think what I'm going to do, though, is add a few cloves of garlic to it. If I have a bulb of garlic in here. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I think I have some little ones here. I do. I'll just smash them with a knife and get that peel off because they're not very big. Let's see if I can just put them in there and let it get in the juice. Get in the juice. It'll get in what's in there bathing in the juice, won't it? I just don't think you can have too much garlic. Now that's debatable, but I, I don't want the debate. I just want to use my garlic. I like it. Whew, that's got a sore on it. We don't want it. And that one's awfully small. I think it's two or three smalls. Maybe I'll cut it a little bit. Cut that little root off. It didn't look too clean. I had some more in here. Let me see. No, I don't. So I guess that'll have to do. I'll put the lid on it, get it in the oven at 350, and when it's done, I'll bring y'all back and show you. It's going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. It's going to be one of those Yumbledy scrotal things. Not rocket science, but I wanted to tell y'all when I use my Pampered Chef, I spray it and then I spray the lid. Even out here, it makes it so much easier to clean. So if you hadn't thought about doing that, it's a good idea. Okay, I got the pork shoulder out of the uh, oven and I put it in a foil wine cookie sheet just in case some of the juice boiled over, but it didn't. So I'll get it out of here in a minute and <clears throat> kind of shred it or whatever and we'll have supper, but I wanted to show this to y'all. I'm probably not going to plate it up right now, but it does look really good and it's tender. I can stick the fork in it and it just breaks apart, so I'm very, very pleased with it. Okay, so now y'all know how I cook pork shoulder like a, a beef roast, only it's pork roast. And I think it's going to be yummy with that Cajun seasoning on it. We'll see. And if I don't forget, when I get a plate fixed, I'll uh, take a picture where y'all can see what all we've got today. But you've been with me every step of the way. I'm just showing y'all on a different video each component of the meal. Hope y'all are staying warm wherever you are. It's cold and windy. It's going to keep being that way a few days. And um, hope you're having a happy new year. I'm trying some new dishes. I know, most of you's probably on a diet. I didn't even I didn't even say that this year. I never stick with it. So anyhow, take care of yourself. Come right back here in a day or two and you'll see something else I'm cooking that's good. And we'll talk a whole bunch and I'll share whatever that pops through my mind with you. The good Lord bless you.